Hey kids, I don't really know how to do my conspiracy theory video intros because I've never really done that before. But I'm just gonna start off with saying hey kids instead of oh hey kids, so. Hey kids. Wow, that's great. That's a huge difference, isn't it? Anyways, kids, I've been staring at these little pieces of paper like all day long until I finally thought of something a little bit interesting. So stay tuned. You will not want to miss any of this. Okay, let's get into it. Animal Jam's recent update stated that there is, quote, something strange about the Arctic wolf statue within the Temple of Ancients. They then infer that there could be some mysteries lurking in the temple that we haven't discovered yet. Liza and Sir Gilbert left notes in the Temple of Zyos with some pretty interesting questions. Liza's note didn't have much important other than, quote, it looks as if this lonesome animal is watching over the temple, and all of Belouche for that matter. What does it mean? Sir Gilbert's note brought up a more interesting point. It said, quote, Sabertooths and direwolves have returned to the land of Jamaa, but what became of them in the first place? This temple must hold the answer. Did Arctic wolves stand alongside direwolves and sabertooths? So obviously Animal Jam wouldn't just throw these notes out for no reason and then ignore them, and that's why today I'm going to be breaking things down, taking a look into one of the possibilities of what's to come with this situation. Anyways, I actually researched whether arctic wolves lived with dire wolves and saber tooths at the same time, and the answer was no. Therefore, it's hard for me to picture Animal Jam just saying that they did exist at the same time, knowing that Animal Jam is a relatively educational game. Then again, the extinct animals of Jamal have recently been brought back to life, so maybe they could just slip in arctic wolves being prehistoric based on the whole heartstone thing. My prediction is that Animal Jam would go for more of a twist rather than just replying to Sir Gilbert's question with, yes, they did exist at the same time. So here's what I think is going on, and don't worry, I've got evidence. I've talked about the ancient lines of power in Greeley's hideout den before, but today it's pretty much the main focus of the conspiracy theory. We know that these are the ancient lines of power because they match a diagram in the Forgotten Archive exactly, which states that yes, the drawing represents Jamaa's ancient lines of power. And not only are the ancient lines of power the main centerpiece of Greeley's hideout, but if you change the flooring of the den to blue vines or pink swirls, the design literally appears all across the flooring throughout the den. Pretty baffling, huh? Okay, but anyways, we aren't sure whether this den was based on Greeley's Inferno or whether it's actually the inside of Greeley's Inferno after its eruption. Either way, the lines of power floor designs were nowhere to be seen in Greeley's Inferno, so if he lived inside Greeley's Inferno, these floors would have to be added by him. If he moved but decorated the den based off of the volcano, it would have been the same situation. If Greeley hadn't found this design in the volcano in the first place, then where would he have found it? Well, the only other place where this design has been seen would have existed long before Grilly created his den. This little corner in the Forgotten Archive. Yes, he would had to have known about the Forgotten Archive way before we did, and you might say that he couldn't have gotten in because the entrance was closed before the eclipse. And that is true, but there are other little entrances that Greeley could have crept through. Not us, because we can't leave the lands, we can't venture out of the map, but the Alphas are the ones who wander off and find new lands. They can literally go wherever, and this cave opens into daylight somewhere pretty close by the entrance that we use. Anyways, if Greeley discovered the Forgotten Archive, he would have known about the ancient lines of power before anyone else. From all the research and excerpts that are showcased in that room, then he would have gone ahead and added the design into his den. But we wouldn't know how long Greeley has known about the Forgotten Archive. That room has been there since Zyos' time. Greeley could have gone in there even before the first adventure was released. No matter what time he discovered it, it would explain why he was so knowledgeable, why he was constantly looking for answers and causing trouble off on his own. His chalkboard from Greeley's Inferno even features a picture of a fan phantom going through a portal. And in the next adventure, The Search for Greeley, we see that behind this blackboard was a secret room, and we then discover that Greeley was actually working on a phantom portal in order to reach the phantom's world. Since we know Greeley has learned the sciences of activating portals, why wouldn't he activate the portals showcased in Forgotten Archive? 
Knowing how curious he can be, we can expect Greeley to go through these portals and explore a little bit. And now we know that the second portal takes us to the underground city, and the third takes you towards Volusia in a little raft. Therefore, if Greeley had turned on these portals, he would have been able to find not only Jamal's ancient underground city, but also the Temple of the Ancients in Volusia before anyone else. And what better way for Grilly to leave a mark on a territory than adding a statue of his own kind into the Temple of Ancients? <gasps> In fact, Liza's note describes the Arctic Wolf as a lonesome animal, which is literally Grilly in a nutshell. This could just be a subtle play on words for Animal Jam to hint Grilly causing all this. I know what you're thinking, the statue isn't one of his kind, Grilly is no Arctic Wolf, he's just a regular wolf. But Arctic Wolves are literally just a subspecies of the regular Grey Wolf. So really, Arctic Wolves are one of Greeley's kind, since Greeley is the alpha of wolves, all wolves. And if you need more proof, Arctic Wolves are invited to the Wolves Only party as well. I was sort of wondering what Animal Jam could do with the fact that Greeley put the statue here in the first place. You know, learning that the only reason there's an Arctic Wolf statue in Belouche is because Greeley put it there could be kind of weird. But maybe Animal Jam will use it as an opportunity for Greeley to finally tell us what the heck the ancient lines of power are, since Greeley obviously knows a little bit more about it. Yeah, the conspiracy feels a little far-fetched, but I really can't see how Greeley couldn't have known about the ancient lines of power at the time of when Greeley's hideout had been released, other than him discovering the Forgotten Archive portrait of the ancient lines of power and being interested in adding it to his own deck. Whether I'm right or wrong about this, I think we can look forward to Animal Jam having something interesting in store with the Arctic Wolf statue situation, whether Grilly is behind it or not. Thanks for watching this little conspiracy video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, make sure to tell me in the comments that you like it. I do spend a lot of time on these theories. I came up with this all by myself. So I would really like to know whether you enjoy these videos or whether you just rather see some of my normal comments. Or whether you just rather- Or whether you just rather- Or whether you just rather see some of my other content, like skits and dead. I prefer neither. I hate them all. Please just stop talking forever, Chloe. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!